Part of science is a goal. So let's see what messages we have. This is for August the 1st, 2019. These are not the right cards. <laughs> so every time I start with you guys, I'm going to start with the um, goddess. But we're going to start with this in the message. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? All right. Well, all right. We got two. First one we have is take charge of the situation. Second one we have is drink water. So some of you guys are needed to take charge. Trust your intuition. Oshun is all about the sweet water. This is about the emotions. So some of you guys may be needed to take more emotions in so that you can take charge. Some of you guys need to take charge of your own emotions. Look at all that water there. Some of y'all need to part the Red Sea so you can really see clearly. So you can follow your heart and clear and shield your energy. Uh-huh. So that new person that's in your life, that's your one. Some of y'all got to part the Red Sea so you can see. Part the Red Sea so you can vision or fuck it. So you can see, God damn it. All right, so let's see what messages we have. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I'm rising Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So I'm rising Venus. This is for August 1st, 2019. And like I told the rest of my, um, my signs, I've been in the airport all day, so I am tired. Um, that's why I look like this, y'all. Don't, don't, don't be bragging on me talking about I look rough. I know I look rough. I've been in the airport from 7 o'clock this morning until 5 o'clock this afternoon or 3 o'clock this afternoon. And I still have to drive two hours there and back, so I am tired. Um, <laughs> but we're going to get it. We're going to do what we got to do. So this is for my water sign. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is for August the 1st, 2019. What messages do we have for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? August the 1st, 2019. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Let's see. Underneath it all, I like it didn't want to come up. Six of Wands. So someone's moving forward. Um, moving toward victory. I'm most definitely seeing that. Empress in your highest vibration. Most definitely could be moving toward a Taurus or a Libra. So we got the four of wands here. This is about household situations, five, five of cups, disappointments in the past, five of wands, ooh, two fives starting out. So if you're in a household situation, you are dealing with conflicts and disappointment here. That needs to be over world card here. Literally, look how look how she looks. She looks like a zombie. So some of you guys are like the walking dead in this relationship. You need to let it go. What is in the middle page of wands here? So this is about being true to yourself. Some of you guys have not been being true to who you are because of your pride okay you've been dealing with conflicts because of your pride not being honest not being true staying in a dead situation because of your pride it's time for you to move toward your victory baby it's time for you to be happy my lips chapped and shit <laughs> so let's see what we got here with these four of ones this is about um a, a relationship this is about now for some of you guys this is about twin flame this is about like you're reconnecting with the soulmate here but in the midst of that, you're dealing with five of wands, five of cups, conflicts, things. You're conflicted about something not turning out the way you'd hope. So because of that, you're not, I'm going to be real with you, you're not being true to who you are. And there is a need here, and this is a feminine energy here with this. These are the only people. This is how I, and plus I got the Empress up here. But this is how, with these cards here, this is how I've determined whether or not this is spiritual or actually a person. All my spirits look like this. You feel me? They look like this. Not saying that your soul is black, but they look like this. They don't have a face. Their faces are non-existent. If I see a face, I know that's what we're talking about here. So this is a woman here that it has been in a dead cycle and you're turning into a corpse because you're not allowing yourself to live. Okay. We are here to live, breathe, thrive, survive. I mean, strive. You know, we already surviving. So strive for more. With this four of wands here, I feel like you're in this situation that is, there's a lot of conflicts. Why is this four of wands here? The nine of swords. Whew, you have anxiety about walking away. Yep. Nine of swords, three of wands, nine of wands. The thing about it is you're manifesting in eight of cups here. You're in this soul searching type of energy. Eight of cups is the underlying energy. What's under that world card? Yeah, needing to walk away, hire from a relationship. Some of you guys can be dealing with the Taurus, but you're needing to find the strength to walk away from some type of relationship or some type of marriage for some of you guys. Um, you may have been trying, the thing about it is you're resisting your own happiness because of this four of wands, because of plans that you made when I guess you were happy before. But the thing about it is nine of swords with the nine of wands, your anxiety is making you give up on getting out of this, making you basically, because you have this anxiety about moving forward, you're, you're not even, 
attempting to make a move. You're just deceiving yourself and I guess feeling as though the conflict is appropriate. It's not. There's a need for you to grow emotionally so that you can really move away from this. There's a spiritual path that needs to happen. And I feel like you're getting to that, um, but I don't feel like you're quite there yet because you're still looking out to the universe about what to do. The thing about it is you have what you want in your face, but you have anxiety about getting there, not being persistent with your actions. With the five of cups in the past energy, I feel like there's some um, disappointment that you've been dealing with. Why is five of cups? Maybe crying over spilled milk. High Priestess, Queen of Cups, yeah, you know that you need to be more loving to self. You know what you need to do. This, For some of you guys, King of Wands here, Page of Wands, you know you need to be honest. You know you need to be enthusiastic about this new path that's set before you, but you're just going within your, you're going within within yourself. You're, you're going mute. You need to really go within the highest vibration. Speak your truth so that you can relieve yourself of this burden. So King of Wands here, I feel like someone you could be communicating. You could have taken a you could have taken a leap of faith and communicated with your significant other. And I'm not saying the one you with. You know what I mean when I say significant other, your soulmate that you're going toward. But it's like you know what you need to do. Some of you guys are you're thinking about it, and some of you guys are doing it. The world part of your subconscious, you're like I am done. Look, she got her fist balled up. She is crumbling shit around her. She's like, I got to get out of this situation. I just got to let this shit go because look how it's making me look dead. It's making me look like I don't have no life in me. Someone here, especially with that third eye, someone has opened that third eye. They have awakened and they realize that I got to fix. You see all this, even the third eye in between, like in her body. Someone feels like I have to fix all that has been broken within me. I have to do this. So this is about self-love. This is about you, even her. With our heart chakra working on their heart chakra you see what i'm trying to tell you someone is working on themselves i like this i do like this moving forward in your highest vibration i like this we're gonna go with that we're not gonna say you have been no more moving forward in your highest vibration this is good moving forward high vibes and high vibes is good vibes baby yeah there's some good vibes y'all don't understand I know a lot of people are scared to leave situations because it is what they have. But if you move toward that high vibe love, oh my God, that's next level shit. You feel me? So five of ones here. I really feel like there's conflicts in your surrounding energy. You could be fighting with someone. Um, check out that air sign. No. I think it was the earth sign reading. It could have been the fire sign reading. So with judgment here, queen of pentacles here, there could someone could be in conflict here. Internal conflict about making a decision. Gemini here um, could be dealing with Queen of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Could be dealing with any Earth sign. Could be dealing with any Earth sign. That's actually that's is that Virgo energy. That's not. That's Capricorn energy. So someone could be making a decision to speak truth, and that could be causing conflict. Five of Wands here, a decision. Gemini could be dealing with a Gemini. Nine of Pentacles here. You could make a decision to gain your independence. Or someone else can make make a decision to gain their independence, especially if they're confused. This is what's well, that that this whole reading here, you're dealing with an earth sign, because that was in the earth sign reading. If they're not an earth sign, they got it in their chart somewhere, or they are taking on that energy. Because that whole this whole five cards was dead as the explanation from the earth sign reading. Someone making a decision to escape confusion. Gemini was the underlying, and it was one of the underlying energies in their ring. So definitely check that, check that out. But the world here, I really feel like someone's ending the cycle, really trying to bring something new, bring life. Look, she got an unk above her head. I don't know if y'all see that. Someone's, someone's thinking that they need to bring new life into their situation or into their life. So why is the world part here? Take your medicine, do the. Why is the world part here? Why is this world part here? Ten cups, queen. So, yeah, somebody's making a decision to go towards something new. Seven of Pentacles here. They, this may have taken a long time. Someone was at a crossroads for a long time, but someone is making a decision, queen of swords here, ten of cups, to either get out of this situation or making a decision for emotional fulfillment to go toward ace of wands, a brand new opportunity. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Why is this page of wands right here? Why is this page of wands right here? I feel like in the past, someone wasn't being, ooh. now you're being true to yourself by laying the burdens down because you're within yourself. Why this is, listen, 
if you're dealing with an earth sign, y'all have reciprocal energy because this is almost, this is like the, this is like looking in the mirror through the earth sign reading. It's actually a good change because you're deciding, you're making decisions, making plans to get out of conflict and really go toward a new cycle in your life. Um, and it's good news. I think you're being 100% supported in your movements because you're moving to our victory with the Empress card here. How priests, you know that this move is going to bring abundance. Now, you may be worried about the move with the Seven of Pentacles, but Ten of Wands, Four of Swords here, you're in alignment with laying the burdens down and really moving. I feel like some of you guys are moving toward a fire sign, maybe a younger fire sign. They, yeah, they escaping the situation too. Five of Pentacles, there's a lot of worry. There is a lot of worry. So whoever you're moving toward, if they're not a younger first sign, they just have that type of energy, maybe um new type of energy within a connection. I feel like they're moving away from something as well, escaping a situation, and there may be anxiety from their end. Um, and I feel like everybody has the anxiety because y'all is sneaking away instead of just telling these people um moving on. We grown. Speak your truth, man. But I guess some of y'all feel like y'all gotta sneak. So what messages do we have for Cancer Scorpio Pisces? All right. And three popped out. We got fertility. It says it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, exit, start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. With um, inner goddess, it says awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. Some of y'all could have fire in your chart because some of this was like it's 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 mirroring the earth sign reading, no doubt. But some of the energy here, the escaping here, felt it feels like it's coincide, coinciding with the fire sign reading. So some of you guys are healing and you're moving forward. And this is this is bringing you victory. You're unleashing your adventurous side and you're moving toward a brand new adventure in your life. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all. Peace.